Okay, so I'm like in this spot, so I think I'm just gonna do all my vlogs from here now. But anyway, I believe this is week four, but I'm not entirely sure, and the rest of you don't really know what week you're on either, so I'm not gonna make a big deal about whether or not I'm actually on week four. So anyway, um, I swear this week I actually went on my phone and got on YouTube on my phone and tried to watch all of your videos, but my phone decided to have its internet be non-functional right now, so right now the only question I can remember is the one I asked and the one that Tori asked, and I already answered my own question in the last vlog. Uh, I'm gonna answer Tori's in a second, and uh, Shelby didn't ask one and she said she's gonna try to find Anna's as soon as she gets home but uh, so right now I'm just kinda winging it yes Jordan I am gonna make it right now in fact I'm gonna start off with Tori's question which was what's something that you collect I really don't know that I can consider this a question but the thing I collect the most is probably shoes and books. Like, it's not really a collection, but I have more than 50 pairs of shoes. And I probably, looking at my bookshelves now, I've probably got a couple hundred books up on my shelves. Because I love reading and I love shoes. It's just who I am. Uh... What else can I talk about while I give Shelby time to work? Oh, um, you guys, at, in my last video I was talking about how I don't, never bothered to watch everyone's videos, so I couldn't, uh, answer everyone's questions. But, so I was watching, I was watching Tori's video, and, um, you got some of you guys asked some really good questions that I missed and the one I remember right now I can't remember who asked it but uh what was the question see I'm the most forgetful person in the world I seriously oh yeah it was what's something from my childhood that I still have and the reason I wanted to answer this is um I just today did a presentation in my Spanish 4 class about a toy, toy from my childhood that I still have and so I have my backpack right here because I think it's still in there but I'm not entirely sure so oh yeah it is I have been carrying this baby doll to school with me pretty much every day for the past two weeks because my Spanish teacher told us we would be working on the project in class but we didn't and so I ended up taking the thing in every day for two weeks for no reason and then we started doing projects on Monday but I didn't get to go Monday and yesterday I was supposed to go but we ran out of time so I had to go first today which I had purposely been trying to avoid I completely forgot like half of my project. I stopped for a good minute in the middle of the presentation and wasn't talking at all that whole time. And I ab it absolutely sucked and what's worse is Spanish Honor Society. Um, invitations are going out next Monday and I'm not sure if I'm eligible for it, for it anymore because I don't know if I have a B in Spanish anymore. Because even though I could be failing I could fail Spanish 4 completely and still have better than a B average because when I was in middle school and did Spanish 1 and 2, I got one B the whole time and got the rest A's. And I've never gotten lower than a B in Spanish, so technically I could fail and still do it, but she's not giving invitations to anyone who has less than a B. So I'm hoping I still have a B. And that was that had nothing to do with the stupid baby doll but anyway this was my first baby doll and so that's why I still have it well actually I don't know if that's why I still have it my mom just kind of keeps everything from my childhood yeah
anyway. Yeah, way to... Uh, yeah, I just threw the baby, but anyway. So Shelby got back to me, and she said that the question Anna asked was, what's a show I started watching recently? I really don't watch that much TV. Like, I know you guys are pretty much... At least Lala is obsessed with House. And I know, I think Michelle is like, can, really likes 24, but, and you guys always talk, like, those shows are like the greatest things on earth, but I really don't watch that much TV. Um, so that's actually all the questions that I have for this week. Um, I had a really good question that I was going to ask, and I can't remember what it was, but anyway, I'm going to go through all the other stuff I was going to talk about first. Anyway, so, last week I was talking about the blanket that Jordan made me, and I accidentally deleted the photo from the video, so right now I'm gonna go put, I'm gonna go, uh, put the blanket somewhere so that I can take a picture of it and show it to you guys. So anyway, that's the blanket, and like I was saying last vlog, one of the main I I like it because it's probably the warmest uh, blanket I've ever had. But the other, but the main reason that I love it is because the fact that he bothered to make that for me is like it's probably one of the nicest things anyone has ever done for me. And it doesn't hurt that making that blanket pretty much made my parents absolutely love Jordan forever. So earlier in the video I was talking about Spanish Honor Society, and um, for those of you who don't know what it is, uh, students can, once they've successfully gotten at least most of the way through Spanish Four, which is the highest non-college uh, place college level class that you can take for a language. It's level four. I'm like totally out of breath because I just like ran up the stairs and then I ran into my room and I think I broke a toe when I accidentally hit the chair. But anyway, um, you can apply for the Spanish Honor Society, which is a national society that recognizes talented uh, language students and generally once you have successfully been accepted you are considered fluent in the language whose honor society you're in. I'm pretty much considered fluent in Spanish right now so already so it's pretty cool because I've only been studying Spanish for three years now and I'm already fluent. So that's cool. Like, what the hell? There's bugs flying around all over the place and it's really bothering me. Okay, just stop. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. While I'm at it, as I might as well try to get into our honor society, but I don't know about that one. Probably wouldn't make it. Uh, yeah. flying around again. Uh, um, seriously, anyone who goes through the Spanish work that I've gone through deserves a freaking medal, because my first two Spanish classes, which are where you learn, like, the basics of the language, the teachers didn't really teach us anything, so when I entered Spanish 3 and we were only allowed to speak Spanish in class, I was pretty much screwed, because I didn't know anything. And I had a really, 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 really mean teacher. Uh... My teacher now, Senora Dowdy, she's nice, but she's also really strict because she knows that we're all capable of doing really well in her class. So anyway, I'm going to start stop talking about Spanish now, because I know you guys probably don't want to hear about it. Um, oh god. Yeah, I think that was all I'm going to, I was going to say, um, I need a question, I need a question, right? Um, 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 uh, I need a question. I need a question. I need a question.